Now, have you ever tried to make fish and chips at home and wish you could do better? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually good. That was good. Gaz Smith from Michael's Heather. Restaurant joins us with his take on the classic fish and chips. Good morning, Gaz. Good morning. So, so, Gaz, the batter, this is what it's all about, isn't it? People often make too smooth a batter and then your fish is very, very kind of smooth and flabby, you know. What you want is all those nooks and crannies. So, it's key just to have a spanking fresh can of beer or sparkling water. And we want loads of bubbles in there. So I never use a whisk. Now? Is that flour? This is flour, corn flour, salt, and a bit of baking powder. <laughs> and what you don't want is an, a whipped one that's very smooth. So I use some chopsticks. Oh. So that leaves me with some nice lumps, and those lumps will burst as it cooks. Okay. And there's well, no. Since you see the lumps on, yeah. on the batter there, actually on the. the and fish. there's no hard and fast rule for how much liquid. It changes each time. So I just like to add a bit, and what you're going for is a texture of porridge. And is it the same so measurement flour to corn flour? I, I go slightly less, so I'd go about 20% less corn flour. Okay. The crunch comes from the corn flour. Okay. So that's there now. So and why sparkling? Why beer? Why sparkling the, water? The more air and gas is inside your batter, the, the lighter that would be now. So if, if, if you use warm... Uh, warm kind of flat water, you're not going to get this. So the aim would be, once it goes in, you give the fish a light feather. That's brilliant. And you light. see how that's... A light feather? Sorry, a light feathering. Oh, as you're placing it. And in. I'm not sure if you can see that now, but that is almost, mm. that is al almost troubled inside now. Uh -huh. And that's what's going to make it nice and light and airy. Once the batter, once the batter cooks then, it starts to steam the fish from the middle. So you've got this beautiful crispy batter and the fish inside then is nice and juicy and fresh. And how do you know when it's done? You would usually cut the fish so that it will cook the same time as the batter. If the fish is too cooked, too thick, your batter will be burnt okay. um, by the time and or your fish will be raw. So I like to go a finger thickness, which you can just see straight away now that started off as quite small and it's now gone nice and puffy. And that's sea bass then, isn't it? The, no, this, oh, no this, these, are, these are Dublin Bay prawns. You have monkfish. Okay. I, I sorry, monkfish. You've got cod. Because oh, I have the monkfish here and it is really good. But it's the batter, there's, there's such a crunch on it. Yeah. Oh, so that's it's so down. light. It's yeah. like a tempura nearly, do you know? You see, I'd be, I'd be one of the few that doesn't think fish and chips travel well at all. Um, so either, if you get it from a chipper, it's, it can't be wrapped up. It's got to be horsed into straight away. Um, oh, really, or yeah. if you if you make it at home, I find that once it's gone in inside a plastic bag, you know it's game over. Um, so because it loses the crunch, it gets a bit yeah, soggy, kind yeah. of. Yeah. And I find that the best fish and chips in the world after three minutes in, inside a plastic bag, you know, it, it's it's not great. So if you get a fryer at home and you can get something like this, and and you saw how fast how fast that cooks there. So th those prawns only cooked for about uh, about two or three minutes. Mm. Yeah. And if you would, if would, you know, try one now, would you? Keep it coming, guys. Yeah. Keep it coming. So these are fresh Dublin Bay prawns from Clough Head. Oh, oh my uh, god. We got them yesterday wow. from Kishfish. They went in, especially to, on a Sunday, to get the the fresh seafood for us, you know. Mm, and then we, we serve ours with a, a slightly spicy tartar sauce and some triple chipped Maris pie, some triple cooked Maris Piper chips. Oh, triple and cooked. Cheap, so what's triple cooked? vinegar. What do you mean triple cooked? Sorry. So we blanch them first at like 90 degrees, just to make them nice Hot and soft. Hot water. So peel them. No, uh, we, we we blanch them in vegetable oil. Oh, sorry. And then right. we, we change it across the beef fat then for the wow. um, um, just for the colour, and then we fry them here at 190 degrees. So th those chips should be, if if I didn't mess them up, um, nice and nice and fluffy inside. And crisp on the outside. That'd be quite hard to do at home, though, would it? To kind uh, of triple cook. I mean, listen, we'd all take whatever chips are coming, but they, <laughs> I mean, these are really crunchy. I I wouldn't be too adverse to using frozen chips myself at home, you know, especially with the kids. Mm. Um, so, and I would, I would, I would, I would rather to focus on the on the fresh fish. And then I'm I'm a big fan of the cheap malt chip of vinegar. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. And it's that it, I. Recall reading years and years ago in Paul Flynn's book, The Tannery, uh, he, would, he would ride his bike home 
and it was just the smell of the salt, the vinegar, and he would drink it with a can of Coke then, you know, and it's just perfect. Oh, lovely. And tell me, are there certain fish that just won't yeah. fare well in a deep fryer? They like say that the avoid? dream fish would be turbot because it's nice and gelatinous, so once it steams inside, it would be, it would be, be very, very juicy. Turbot? Um, yeah. Right, for a fish and chips. <laughs> okay, there we go. The boom is back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but I, I like cod or monkfish, but to be honest, white thing pollock is great, and I, I love skate as well. Um, Ray wing. Um, oh, yeah. But cod is what you generally get in most, most yeah. fish and chip shops, yeah. Well, it's the prawns delicious. are and, good. And that tartar sauce, is that very difficult for us to do at home? Because there's capers in there. What that else is, do you have, chives? That is one part um, chopped shallots, one part capers, one part gherkins, just bound with a bit of lemon juice and mayonnaise. So very, that very simple, so actually. so good as oh, well. Guys, it's so, really tasty. So it's a celebration. Kids are practically having it? fish and chips. Ten to nine. <laughs> this is the best Monday I've had in a long time. Guys, thanks uh, very much. Brilliant. Delicious, Frankie.